Hey, what's up, everybody? Today, we're going to take a little break from Wings of Redemption. We're going to look into another person that I wanted to get into. Um, I just typed in DSP, like, you know, and this is the first clip that came up. Shout out to DSP Tries It, Memology 101 for the video. We're about to get right into it. So I'm pretty sure this is just a little taste of what DSP is all about. Let's get into it. <laughs> Views, views. I don't want to be Mr. Views. I need banana, tasty banana. Put banana in my mouth. Squeeze the peel, it comes in. Then a... <laughs> what? Squeeze banana. All right. So that's what's going on schedule wise. Now, a few housekeeping things before we talk about the topic I want to talk about today about the game release timing and advertisement and hype and stuff like that. I talked about this yesterday and apparently no one listened. So I'm going to reiterate it again. We're in a new month. The month is March, okay? And with March, obviously that means that all of our goals and everything reset. Did we hit the, the member's goal for the month? Of, what is going on? I can't get this to reset. There we go. I wanted to shrink it a little bit. <clears throat> Did we hit any of our goals for February? Well, engagement in February was high. It went way up. What that means is people liked the videos, liked the streams, left comments, and in general... The Don't tell me he's going to be one of these people to like throw out all these like he keeps you like he's one of these people that say a lot of the things that should just be kept to yourself and behind the scenes is that telling it to you know your friends or your viewers and stuff the, the, everything the actual average view time overall views everything on dsp gaming went up in february literally every positive metric you could have even subscribers went way up like every positive metric you look at when you look at the health of a youtube channel Everything was really good for February. So, if anything, as I told you guys, with January being kind of a dead month for releases, the fact that we all talked about engagement so much, you guys really bought into the fact that you want to see this channel grow and continue to be successful. And because of that, you liked everything, you had engagement and everything, and everything got good. Like, seriously, like people were telling me, wow, we're finding DSP Gaming in search results. When we look for people streaming a game on YouTube, you're like in the top 5 to 10 streamers. This is excellent. I agree. This is excellent. Okay? However, <clears throat> okay. the one thing we didn't do is hit our members goal. We were 10 short. Yeah, we were 10 short. Bro, if you, you just went on for two minutes talking about how happy you were. Uh, February was good. Talk about the damn membership goal, man. What a piece of shit. And that kind of stinks. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. But at the same time, it's not the end of the world. All right? If anything, from the discussions that we had in February, the issue is YouTube. The issue is not me or my content. People overwhelmingly are saying, we like the content. You're improving. The stuff is getting better. We, this is good stuff. You're listening to feedback, right? Everything has been positive and great. Uh, or if, it was, if that wasn't the case, everything would not have been up in, in February, right? I, I did nothing wrong. I did everything correct. Right. <clears throat> <laughs> but <clears throat> the problem here is YouTube has not come through on any of their promises so far this year. If you remember in late 2021, YouTube had a big public announcement that they were going to dramatically improve things for streamers on the site. First of all, they were paying big bucks to bring in streamers to exclusively stream on YouTube. And to go hand in hand with that, they announced all these improvements, including gifted memberships, improvement to moderation, improvement to monetization options, apparently improvement to things to the chat. What are you talking about, man? Just because your membership goal, just because you didn't reach your amount of members that you had set for February. That's because people didn't felt like they wanted to or they needed to, you know, subscribe to your membership. All kinds of stuff. So that everyone was going to benefit. Both You're making it deeper than what it is. The viewers, the streamers, everyone was going to get a positive benefit out of all these changes that was coming. Right? <clears throat> and guess what they did? Nothing. So far, we're two months into the year. They literally have done nothing. And that's why YouTube is a piece of shit website. They sat on their butts when it came to streaming. Now, I'm sure they were doing other stuff on the site. But they did not come through on any promises in regards to streaming at all. It's like they're just ignoring what they had said and they haven't actually explained when any of this stuff is coming apparently gifted memberships are in beta and japanese youtubers have them but there's no word on how that's going or when that will roll out things like super thanks which is a way for people watching an on-demand video 
to actually do a super chat, which is kind of what you do right now on my video. You do a super chat, you get a pop-up message, and you know your, your chat gets highlighted. Same premise here on, on an on-demand video. Man, your viewers don't want to hear about this. Because what you're basically doing is you're mad about different ways to make more money. Your viewers don't care. They want to watch you because some people think you're entertaining. I don't know. I don't watch you play games. Um, but you know what I mean? Your viewers, your loyal viewers, um, the people who actually watch you to watch you, they don't want to hear you talk about your finances in any way, shape, or form. It's awkward and strange, and people just don't want to hear about it. That's supposed to roll out site-wide at some point this year, and it hasn't yet. You see? So all these things are going on, and <clears throat> they haven't really... Yeah, that's what it seems like. That's, that, they, they hit the nail on the head right there. That's, that's what it seems so, like. So once that happens, I feel like once the improvements come through, then maybe there's some potential for me to say, hey, guys, guess what? Now here's some really big incentive to become a member because you can get these new benefits now that YouTube has instituted, right? Or now you can give memberships. You can help out other viewers and stuff if you wanted to be nice or whatever. But I feel like at this point, I've pretty much done everything I can do to my capacity as a content creator in regards to the memberships. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't really... Bro, <laughs> you can't do nothing. There's no tricks. There's no hacks. There's no shortcuts. If people want to subscribe and be your member, like your membership, they're going to do it. Stop trying to look for all these little incentives and everything else. If they're going to do it at the end of the day, I don't care how many stickers and emotes and all this other stuff you try to throw out there. These people don't care. If they like your content enough to be a member, they will be a member. You got to stop trying to, you know what I mean? We know what else I can possibly do um, in, within reason. You know, because some people demand these private members serve, uh, streams and stuff. But in general, I don't see an overwhelming demand for it. I see like a couple dozen people maybe asking for it. And I'm sorry, but a couple dozen people just don't dictate everything that I do here on my streams. Maybe I get 10, 12 people who would become members if I did a multiplayer stream with just them. But that's not incentive to completely derail my schedule and hold back playthroughs and do things to do these member-only streams. Right. You know what I'm saying? Um, at this point, I, I think I'm just kind of limited with what I can do. <clears throat> So, let's see what happens moving forward. But, is there a monthly goal for this month? Yeah, we're, we're back at the same 400. Okay, we're at the same 400 as we were last month. That's the goal, is to reach towards 400 and hit it by the end of the month. If we hit it, what's the reward? Well, I'm... It's so cringy, man, because no one wants to hear this. You're talking about your finances to the world, man. Don't no one want to hear this. And you just said 400 members... You got 400 members. It's probably what? A few dollars in the membership? You're making some bread, man. You're making some bread. What you complaining about? Open to suggestions. We've done multiple rewards that you guys have liked in the past, and we're just not hitting the goals. For example, a retrospective event. We didn't hit the goal when we tried to do that one. Now, viewer's choice was literally what you guys asked me to do. I had people leaving comments. I had people writing me emails. I had people saying, Phil, bring back viewers choice. This was the event that everyone loved to pick a game for you to do a full playthrough of on your stream. So I did, and we didn't hit the goal. So I don't know what else I could do to motivate you guys to be members at this point. All right. I'm not going to harp on it. You're not going to harp on it. Spend six minutes harping on it. And I'm not really going to focus on it. I feel like outside of the memberships. Okay. There's so many cool things going on on this channel. Like I said, engagement being up. Support of the channel in general with things like the Super Chats, tips. It's all up. So why am I going to sit here and harp on this when I can't control this because YouTube is dragging its feet, right? It's not YouTube. It's you, dude. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, if people are going to be members, they're going to be members. And then what it seems like is that you kind of... You're not guilt tripping, but it kind of seems like you are though, like to the, like to to your to your viewers. Like if I'm somebody who watches DSP, and I'm hearing the dudes, oh guys, we need members, we need more members. Look at the goal. Like I'm like all the time. It's just like ugh. people don't come to hear your finances, man. They came they come to watch you play video games and stuff like that, dude. I'm not. I'm seriously not. I'm just gonna say. Let's, it's there. You guys know the awesome benefits. Highlight a name in chat. 
and in the comments of videos, a chat crown in chat and in the comments of videos, using all of my emotes, right? Which is awesome. Uh, getting priority for special events, by the way. But anyway, if you're a member, you get priority to get your questions answered on Ask the King. You get priority for special events. If we hit the goal, members will, just members, you know, the 400 or so members will be able to nominate and, and actually have a game get put into the final poll for the Viewer's Choice event, while everyone else, all thousands of people who are going to be nominating and voting will be duking it out. Only the few hundred will be able to get a game into the final poll. It's a good priority, okay? So, <laughs> yeah, please consider becoming a member, all right? But I'm not going to sit here and harp on it, seriously. And it was funny because yesterday on the pre-stream I explained. I said, guys, so, so you know, look, we dipped during my day off. Why did we dip? Because if you remember at the end of January, which is 31 days long, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I remember. Um, within the last two, three days of January, what happened was people rallied. And they wanted to see us hit the monthly goal. They wanted to see that Game Pass Marathon. So people came on the stream and they also uh, became members all in droves. It was like a two, three dozen people became a member within like two days. And then we hit the goal. Okay? That's what happened at the end of January. Um, the end of February, which was early because February only has 28 days. Well, guess what? There was no rallying, and all those people who rallied to become a member at the end of January, their memberships expired. So I came back yesterday, March 1st. Oh, my God, Phil, you lost, like, 30 memberships. Like, well, in reality, that was the people who rushed and became members to make that goal happen at the end of January. And technically, this wouldn't even... I really hope he don't do this all the time, man. It would be the end of the month. This would be... If this were a normal month, we'd still be in, in the month. You know what I mean? But it was such a short month, February, that... You can't even really come back from it. It's there's nothing you can do about it. All right. It's three days. So it's not a big deal. Um, but please consider becoming a member if you want to support the channel long term. It's a great way to do it. And I, I appreciate everyone who is a member. And I hope you are enjoying your benefits. I'm giving you as much as I, I can at this point. Um, hopefully we'll have some good news, right? Hopefully YouTube will stop dragging their feet and actually do come through on the, the things they promised. But right now, they have it. Okay. The whole website is gone to fuck. As soon as Elden Ring released, there was, like, the end of discourse of anything else. All of social media, even people who normally would skip a game like Elden Ring and don't usually talk about games like this are playing and posting up about Elden Ring. All right? Now, admittedly, what ended up happening was a lot of people bought the game, just like they did with Sekiro, thinking... Thinking... Da, da, da. One second. Shut up. Okay. Sorry about that. A lot of people bought Elden Ring. What the fuck was that? Into this franchise, never having played anything. They <laughs> shut up. Four. <laughs> And they're getting a rude awakening. They're all getting to like early game bosses that for most of us went around the block and played these games. It might be a Cartman. <laughs> before. <laughs> Haven't really had issue with, you know, Murgit or Godric. They're not actually very tough bosses at all if you've played FromSoft games before. He rolled insanely late. I'm dodging and it's still fuck. it rolls so late it comes out after. What? No, fuck this fucking piece of shit. Fuck this fucking piece of shit. But these people who've never ah, done it are- He literally just rage quit. Are going and like, oh my god, the ultra challenging early game boss check. And I'm like, what are you talking about? You know, it's actually not that hard at all. In reality, you just gotta learn a few basic things about the game and understand the shortcomings of the game. Like the insane input lag that we've talked about for the last few days. All right. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, man. Um, you got to stop blaming YouTube for your shortcomings. You know what I mean? YouTube isn't the reason why you have low members. Because I'm pretty sure there's people on YouTube with high members. Or high numbers of members. You got to stop blaming YouTube for your shortcomings. It's not YouTube, it's you. All right? Um, I don't think this is going to be the last of the DSP that we get into. I still got some more wing things to get into. I got people... Uh, giving me subjection, subject, uh, suggestions left and right, you know? Shout out to you guys. I appreciate it. But, yeah, that's it for DSP right now. We'll be back later with it. Um, have a good one, guys. Peace out.